girls, I am back for another TTC update. I'm just going to give you a recap on what's been happening since last Sunday, what my doctor thinks, and kind of what I personally think what's going on. Basically, since cycle day 5, I've been taking um, the first response digital ovulation test, and I'll have kind of more information down below, but basically you start from cycle day 5 until you get your positive. I had been testing with that, and... I kept getting negative after negative after negative. Finally, on cycle day 14, I decided to digital ovulation test along with a wand fold that I had left over. And from that, it was a pretty, it looked positive to me. And I thought, okay, well maybe I will ovulate tomorrow. So the next morning I took the digital again and it was negative. So I decided to back it up with a Dollar Tree ovulation test. And that one was no question about it positive. The test line was a lot darker than the control line, and um, from what I was feeling, it, it felt like I was ovulating. I'll continue to keep testing um, with the digital ovulation test, and um, I kept getting negative. I kept backing it up with um, a Dollar Tree test, and each and every time, it was a positive on the Dollar Tree test. This went on until yesterday, which was cycle day 20. Um, and I kept getting positive, so I'm not sure what to think. I did call my doctor's office on Friday because I wasn't feeling very well, I almost passed out, um, and I just wanted to know what their thoughts were, what they think is happening. So, um, I wasn't able to talk to my own doctor personally, but I was able to talk to a nurse who spoke to the on-call doctor, and she thought that it was dehydration. They also asked me if I took a pregnancy test. I did take one yesterday, and it looked pretty negative to me. Um, I will insert the footage that I took over the last week so you guys can go ahead and see the digital it now. today. Um, it said no, but I just kind of had a feeling, so I thought I would take a um, I thought I would take a dollar store ovulation test just to be sure, and that is what I got. It's clearly a positive um, ovulation. As you can see, the test line is right here. That's the control line. The test line is so much darker than the control line. I don't know if the I don't know if the um, dollar I don't know if the Dollar Tree tests are more sensitive than these ones. Um, so I'm not really sure what to think. Um, this test was clearly dark. I'm getting darker. So that's a comparison of the two. And I also wanted to show that I took the digital test strip out of the case and it usually has like I guess a test line, um, what I've been noticing. And I can't I know you guys probably can't really see that, but those are the type of lines I've been getting on the digital. Hey girls, so I've been getting positive ovulation tests like this for the last seven days. Um, as you probably saw in the footage um, in this video. Um, so yeah, I've been getting positives like this for the past seven days. Um, I've been temping, but not too much. Um, I've been kind of lazy about it the last this month just because it's kind of frustrating for me. Like, I don't really understand it. So I just kind of um, been pretty lazy about it, but um, the temps that I did take this week all have been pretty high for me. Um, I, I saw like maybe a little um, little shift on cycle day 16. Um, I'm currently cycle day 19. As you can see, like I said, I kept getting negatives on the digital, but I was getting positives on the other test. I have decided today that I will not continue to keep testing, um, just because it's kind of a waste of money, and I've already know what the result's going to be. For like the last three days or so, I've been having pretty significant cramping. But yeah, again, I'm just, I'm really confused. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, this has never happened to me before. 
Um, I do have a PCOS, so I know it's not uncommon for women that have PCOS to continue to keep having positive ovulation tests, um, but that has never been the case for me. I've never gotten a positive um, this many times, um, so again, I'm just, I'm not really sure. Any of you have ever gone through this and you've ended up pregnant or you kind of know um, what might be going on, if you have any like suggestions or advice or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I think that would greatly help me out because I'm like losing my mind. A lot of you had told me that um, you found out you were pregnant this way and if that is the case for you, please let me know on what cycle day you started getting positives and on what cycle day you found out you were pregnant. Um, I've been kind of trying to research this online and haven't come up with a clear answer yet. And the fact that I'm getting positive ovulation tests I think is a big improvement because this is my natural cycle. Um, I've never, to my knowledge, have ovulated on my own without the help of some kind of fertility drug. This is a big improvement, but at the same time, I'm kind of a little hesitant because I don't know if this is true or if I'm pregnant. Um, I would like to be pregnant. I would like that to be the answer. I my birthday BFP, and if you guys don't know, my birthday is on the 31st. So, um, I hope that's the case. I'm definitely praying and hoping that... Um, we can finally reach our goal and that is to conceive baby number two. If you followed our journey since last year, you kind of know that it's been quite a journey to get to this point and to be um, able to have another child. Um, and I just want to thank you all for the support. Um, I'm so grateful for all of you, the YouTube community, and especially the TTC community um, on YouTube and Instagram. And I'm just I'm thankful that I have such a supporting family and friends and my husband has been absolutely amazing. He's been by my side through this entire journey and I just, I love him even more. It's definitely made us closer and it's made me fall in love with him all over again. Yeah, that's all I have to update um, right now. I will update you guys next week. Um, I'm just going to count that as my two week wait. Alright, well thank you for watching and I will see you for my next video. Bye.